Hey guys, Connor here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Roadmaster's six pole trailer connector here for our 2020 Jeep Cherokee. So this is what our trailer connector is going to look like when we have it installed on the front of the vehicle. As you can see, it doesn't really protrude from the rear bumper due to the way we mounted it, so it has a nice clean finish install look. And most importantly at all, it's going to be very accessible for our umbilical cord that goes between the motorhome. So the majority of the reasons that people use this six pole trailer connector here is it's because they have to run a charge line from their motor home to the vehicle. And the reason this connector is ideal here is because it has an extra slot that we can allow us to run it from the motor home to the towed vehicle via an umbilical cord. Now the majority of connections, if it's just a four pole flat, it's not gonna have that extra terminal we need to bridge the connection. It's gonna have an extra connection there in addition to all of our standard lighting functions, such as the stop and turn signals, the ground circuit, and the taillight circuits. So if your wiring harness for your vehicle already came with a four pole flat trailer connector, that's completely fine. We can still use this six pole here. We just have to simply cut off the end of our connector and attach it to the back of our new connector here, which is super easy to do, and we'll show you that later in the video. And now that we've gone over some of the benefits and features and the reasons why you might want this six pole connector here, let's jump right into installation and show you how it's installed. So to start our installation today, we need to find a place to mount our electrical connector. Now we have plenty of different options to do this. Um, somewhere along this main bumper core here is gonna be the best option because we don't really have a lot of other places. Down here, once we have the fascia back on, is gonna be this mesh area, which is open. That way we can trim some of this mesh so we can go ahead and have our electrical connection here. So we're actually gonna be offsetting it because we're gonna have another connection over here for our breakaway. So we're gonna offset it to one side here. Depending on which braking system you're using, you may wanna center it in the vehicle for a better look. It's really up to you. Now, we're gonna have to obtain a couple brackets here in order to mount. Well, I shouldn't say they're required, but we're gonna be using these to ease in our installation. Um, from my experience, this bumper beam material is very, very thick metal. It's super hard to drill into, but if you wanna save yourself some money in buying these extra brackets here, you can certainly try that. Now, the first thing we're gonna be using here is a standard no drill long trailer connector bracket here. And essentially, we'll show you here in a second, but we're gonna use this little hole here with this band clamp so we can attach the bracket like so. But before we do that, we're actually gonna have to bend our plate here a little bit. That way we have a surface here to attach our other bracket we're gonna need, which is the bracket for the six pole mounting. Now once we bend that lip back, we should be able to attach the bottom of our six pole like that. And that way it'll sit in about this area, which is gonna be perfect to line up with the mesh cut out on our bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and bend this bracket now. Then we can secure the two together and show you what it's gonna look like. So here's what our bracket's gonna look like mounted. As you can see here, we have a bend here, which is about the center of our last set of holes. We went ahead and drilled two more quarter inch holes on the bottom so we can mount up our connector here. So all we did to connect the actual no drill bracket to this bumper beam here is we just used one of our band clamps and snuck it through this hole here. And now we have a nice secure and solid connection point for our trailer connector. Now we can go ahead and mount our electrical connector here using the hardware that's provided. It's gonna be a Phillips head screw and a 10 millimeter. We're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket for the nut. So let's go ahead and do that now. And just like that. And if need me, we can adjust the angle of the bracket. We'll get a better idea of what that's gonna need to be once we get the bumper fascia on the vehicle here. So once we have our bracket into position here, we can go ahead and attach the wires to the back of our trailer connector here. In order to do this, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna take off this rubber boot on the back, and we're gonna go ahead and just slip that over our wires now. And just shove that back in there. Now what we can do is, we have more wire than we need, 
which is good. But now's the time where we can go ahead and trim this. Try to trim them all the same length. That'll make your job of connecting it a little bit easier. And now we're gonna go ahead and split each of these wires and separate them from the strain. So now we can go ahead, we're gonna start here with our charge line wire. Uh, chance, you may have a different circuit here, but chances are if you're using a six pole on the front of your vehicle, it's because you need that charge line that runs from the motor home to the vehicle's battery here so it can remain charged while in tow. So we're gonna go ahead and attach this one first. This is actually a live circuit here, so you wanna be careful that we're not shorting it out to any of the other circuits, but this red wire here, which we're using for the charge line, whatever color wire you used, uh, we're gonna be attaching that to the center pin of our trailer connector here. We're gonna take a small Phillips head screwdriver and we're just gonna back that screw out slightly enough so we can get our wire in there. We don't wanna back it out completely because they're really tiny and they're really easy to lose. So once we have about a quarter inch of the jacket, go ahead and just slide that in there like so. Then we can tighten down our screw here. So the next wire we're gonna attach is our white wire here, which is for the ground. And if we look on the back of our trailer connector here, we should see a terminal labeled GD, which is for ground. So let's go ahead and connect that one next. Just tighten that screw down. And again, after all these, go ahead and just give them a nice little wiggle to make sure it's secure. The next circuit we have here is the brown wire, which is for the tail lights and the running lights. And this one is gonna go to the circuit labeled TM right there on the back of our trailer connector. Now next, we have our green wire, which will be for the right stop slash turn signal circuit. This will go to the RT terminal here and then last but not least, we have our yellow wire, which is for the left stop slash turn signal circuit. This will go to the terminal labeled LT on the back of our trailer connector. So before we slide our black boot over our connections here and mount everything up on the vehicle on our bracket here, we're gonna be taking some gasket maker and we're gonna coat all these pins here, try to fill up the space here so we don't have to worry about any circuits jumping on us or any rust or corrosion issues, which could cause issues with our lights. Now we can take the black boot, we can slide that over. And then finally the last step here would be to go ahead and mount the trailer connector onto our bracket. Once we get that nice and secure, the final step here is we're gonna take some dielectric grease we're just going to coat the pins inside the trailer connector here, again, to help prevent any rust or corrosion issues. Now, we can go ahead and test out our lighting. There's a couple different ways to do this. We're using a jump box, which we have here at E-Trailer, but if you have your motorhome close by, that would probably be ideal as well. Let's go ahead and turn this on here. We should first see our tail lights on either side. Now we're going to go to the left turn signal, our brake lights, and then our right turn signal. So there we go. Now we have everything hooked up and we can ensure it's all working. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of Roadmaster's six pole trailer connector here for our 2020 Jeep Cherokee.